asked him if he could see if the crack went straight through, and he said that, well, definitely if you put it in the water, like, water is going to come in. Ah! Okay, this is a good omen. It's a double rainbow. No, it's it two of us. Rainbow. What does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> We have a rainbow behind us and we're on our way to pick up Rhapsody. Yeah. Soon to be cats away. Uh, there was a little hiccup earlier, so I guess when the boat was getting loaded on for transport, they noticed that there was a crack in one of the hulls. So we have to fix that before we put her in the water. Uh, we have good friends and Charles is coming down to help us learn how to fix the boat. It's a skill that we should probably have. It's better now and, than later. And hopefully. We're just crossing our fingers that the crack isn't too deep and it's not structural, so it's not too much of a, a repair. We just crossed the border. I got stopped at customs because I always do. It's because of my accent. Yep, they just want to talk to the cute Australian. Also, apparently we've been saying Chaumont wrong, and it's Chaumo, so apologies. The border crosser and the gents laughed at us. We arrived late in Chaumo and met the driver at the marina and then checked in to this cute little motel called Duckaway. Early the next morning, we visited Rhapsody and removed her from the truck in order to survey the damage. So we got the boat and it's a little rainy, which is why I have my rain jacket on. Um, and this is the crack we're talking about. So you can see it right here. And apparently this is more of a big deal than we had anticipated because it's kind of wanting to pop out. So our friend Charles is going to assess and we might need to get some other supplies and we'll go from there. Using a car jack and a piece of wood, Charles confirmed that the crack would pop back into place. Next we went to get fiberglassing supplies from West Marine. We also bought some hair dryers to speed up the curing process because of the humidity. And then some other essential supplies. On returning to the boat, Charles got stuck into the surgery. Our other friend Soph helped removing the dust with a hairdryer. Okay, so our friend Charles has been working really hard. Um, he cut away our second floor so we can expose the crack from this end. So it's right there. We have good visibility of the whole crack. Um, and he also has started grinding down the other side and hopefully we got all the stuff we needed from West Marine and we'll go from there. Now they shouldn't have put weight there, but they did. This is the bulkhead, right? So all of this is solid right down here. Yeah. This is why we hear the, the noise, like when we hit on it. This is the bulkhead. This is where it's like the strongest. Yet they sat it here. So this is why this broke. So now I'm gonna lay out. I'm gonna lay out one sheet of fiber. And I'm going to put these pieces of plywood. So, another piece here to come across this broken area. I'll probably just add these here because I have them. But, and then I will wrap some more fiberglass around all of these pieces and then layer another piece and that's going to solidify cool. that whole area. So you'll have three coats of fiberglass underneath, three coats inside wrapped in these channels that I'm going to create with fiberglass and plywood and that should just keep it solid. It'll be stronger than before. Absolutely. Yeah, no question there. So there's the crack. 
now that the paint's been uh, grind aw ground away, <laughs> grinded away, <laughs> ground away. So you can kind of see from here. We're going to push that back, hopefully. After the work was done, Charles enjoyed a well-earned acetone sponge bath. We retired for the day, leaving the fiberglass secure overnight. A moment of truth. Nope, no movement. It's very good. This is very, very nice. Perfect. <laughs> Can't get any better than that. All the edges are very well, very tight, so nothing's going to peel off. I like it. She's uh, seaworthy. <laughs> I like it. Whoa. It looks like um alien. This is very nice. Like you like to get it as dense as possible. All right, so this is perfect. With the hole looking fixed, we had one more very scary test and Katsaway got to taste Lake Ontario for the first time. Thanks to the help from our amazing friends, her builders were dry and she was buoyant. All we needed now was to get her home.